We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. Shalom everybody, it's me, Mr. Tall 23 I'm back with another video. This is episode 3 in my new series, The Guide to the New World Order, which I have already uh, been making for about half a week now. And these videos are about the New World Order, the Beast System, uh, Babylon, uh, there are many names for it, and how they are controlling us and how they plan to control the world. Uh, the first two episodes I talked about the nine areas of control. This is the New World Order Hierarchy Pyramid which I drew. These are the nine areas of control. And today I will talk about, I will skip governments. Uh, I don't, I can explain uh, that in a different video or I will uh, just wrap it up quickly in multiple other videos. But today I'm going to be talking about corporations and how they control. Corporations are large businesses and many of them have come under the control of the New World Order and are working to achieve their goals. And the, uh, the primary goal of the corporations is control of the resources which can be used to enslave mankind and to make uh, more money for the higher levels of control like the big banks and the central banks and uh, the Rothschilds and the other rich families and ultimately the Vatican and the Jesuits and they can use the resources and the money in order to start wars or to start operations that can be used uh, for control and for uh, the beast system. The New World Order will find a nation that has valuable resources and will set up corporations there that will exploit the resources such as oil. And I'm going to be looking at uh, my computer screen because it's a lot easier if I just uh, look at notes instead of just trying to remember everything that I'm going to say so that's what I have a document open right here that I've typed everything down for what I'm going to say in this video so I'm going to be looking at the screen I may do some editing on this video so you may not see me if look at the screen that much uh, anyway so they will slowly gain control of that nation's government and economy as well and the people will be forced to pay taxes to support these corporations and to pay off government debt. All of these can be better explained when I get to uh, the big banks and the central banks, but the point is that corporations will take advantage of developing countries uh, and the resources in order to prepare for the new world order. Many of the nine areas of control that I have talked about in previous video, in the two previous videos, are directly affected by the corporations and they use resources and the profit they gain in order to control us through some of some of these areas. Many corporations, uh, when, for example, the media. Many corporations own the smaller media companies, uh, and they use them to control with distraction and lies. Corporations are responsible for controlling the mainstream media and are often interconnected with. Uh, like intelligence groups and operations like Operation Mockingbird, uh, which was created by the CIA, uh, and big banks like Intel, or uh, big banks uh, who has control of these media corporations. Examples of media corporations would include Time Warner, which is the parent of CNN. Uh, I've wrote CNN right here on the example of media control. Uh, News Corporation, which recently split into the 21st Century Fox. Uh, they're the owner of Fox News, Comcast, the owner of NBC, MSNBC, and the Weather Channel. Viacom is another major media corporation and is the parent company of MTV, Comedy Central, Paramount, BET, and Spike. And the Walt Disney Company, which owns ABC and ESPN. These five largest media corporations are under the control of the New World Order and are dedicated to controlling your mind. Large corporations are also responsible for other areas of control, like health. 
uh, health and chemical companies are responsible for creating the death and disease in the world. Uh, right here I have control of the disease and death and I've explained how they do this and what their goal is in the previous videos in the first episode when I was talking about health. Uh, the group, uh, they produce chemicals, gen genetically modified foods and pharmaceuticals and the group is collectively referred to as Big Pharma. Uh, they don't care about your health but care about the profit that they make from the, your poison uh, and the new world order. Examples of these would be Monsanto, a leading company in biotechnology and among the first to create GMOs or genetically modified organisms. The company was responsible in the past for producing destructive chemicals like Agent Orange which was used in Vietnam uh, for deforestation, instead killing and severely deforming thousands of innocent people. They add in chemicals that have been shown to give humans and other animals negative effects like cancer. Much of these uh, the supposedly natural food you'll find at a U.S. store will be affected by big corporations like Monsanto, who genetically engineer and change seeds. Another example of a pharmaceutical corporation or a big pharma corporation is Pfizer, or Pfizer, I'm not really sure I'd pronounce it. Uh, they are responsible for the creation of multiple pharmakia, which is the Greek word for poison or sorcery uh, products like Advil, Xanax, Prevnar, which is a vaccine, uh, Zoloft, Viagra, Zithromax, and Lipitor. Another corporation is Bayer, which recently announced that they may have a merger uh, between it and Monsanto. Bayer has multiple subsidiaries which are responsible for multiple different tasks. Bayer Crop Science produced genetically modified crops and pesticides. Bayer Consumer Health produces consumer pharmacia poisons such as Nexavar, Cognate, and the birth controls Yaz and Yasmin. Bayer was also a company that invented the highly addictive and dangerous drug heroin in 1898, and in 1925 they joined with the German chemical company IG Farben. Uh, and just a few years later, Bayer would be responsible for producing the Zyklon B gas that uh, was used to murder millions of Jews in, uh, in concentration camps during the Holocaust. Uh, it's not just the pharmaceutical and GMO companies that affect your health. Uh, there are also the large corporations that control the food making industry. Uh, PepsiCo is one of them. Uh, producer of Lay's, Gatorade, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Doritos, Funyuns, Cheetos, Rockstar, Tostitos, Lipton, Aquafina, Quaker, and much more. Uh, Nestle is even bigger. Uh, they have, they're the creator of Hagen dazs Dryers, Hot Pockets, DiGiorno, Wonka, Baby Roofs, Stouffer's, and many more brands, including 74 brands of water and multiple types of pet food. And these, all of these health corporations are used in order to give you disease, give you death, and not make sure that you don't get the nutrients you need to survive, and to give things that you don't need, and to uh, pretty much poison you. The New World Order also uses corporations to produce aircraft and weapons for their military control of the world. That is right here on the, uh, the pyramid. Groups like Lockheed Martin and Boeing are all used uh, in order to prepare the world for war. Lockheed Martin produces missiles, aircraft, spacecraft, and armored fighting vehicles. They have contracts with the government and are also involved in surveillance or in intelligence, which I, is one of the nine areas of control. As well, Lockheed Martin is involved uh, in intelligence through the CIA, FBI, NSA, the Pentagon, and collects information for the IRS. Boeing is another corporation which produces bombers and aircraft for the U.S. military. Intelligence uh, also uses large corporations like Microsoft and Samsung in, or, uh, in order to spy on the population. Recently, uh, very recently, it was less than a week ago it was discovered that the CIA was using smart TVs and uh, other smart devices for these illegal activities spying on the citizens. Their job is to create devices that can be used for these purposes. Other corporations which uh, have involvement in the New World Order and population resource, uh, resource control but are not on really the uh, what is I didn't really write down on the uh, the pyramid and sec except in the corporation section 
are oil companies such as ExxonMobil, Saudi Aramco, Shell, uh, BP or British Petroleum, and Halliburton, and engineering companies like Fluor, Parsons, and Bechtel. All of these corporations take advantage of the resources and use it to gain money and power. Wars are orchestrated in order to set up corporations and banks. Politicians and leaders who try to turn against these groups are killed or overthrown. People like Saddam Hussein who once Bechtel, or once allowed Bechtel to set up chemical plants in Iraq and work to build an oil pipeline. The U.S. through corporations began to steal uh, Iraq's oil, which led to the invasion of Kuwait and Gulf and the Gulf War. Later, Iraq was invaded following the media corp the media corporations, uh, WMD, lie, and oil companies such as Halliburton. Uh, what were set up in Iraq in order to take their oil and this is just one example of how corporations have been uh, used for resource control of different nations and I will explain uh, other re uh, as I go along other reasons for the war in Iraq and uh, how corporations have also gained control of other nations so this is just a basic overview video so I won't go into more detail until I explain the history of the New World Order and this video has been a lot quicker than the other ones, and thanks to my notes. So I hope not to produce 40-minute uh, videos like I uh, like the first episode. I'm going to try and keep these a little bit shorter, but to explain as much as I can. Uh, it may be longer, it may be shorter, but I try trying not to do 40 minutes long. So this has been my guide to the New World Order, uh, specifically the corporation level on the New World Order hierarchy pyramid. Uh, next time, next video, I'll talk about the big banks. Uh, basic overview right now, I have uh, Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, City, Soros Management Fund, uh, and Lehman Brothers. And those are my examples that I put right here. And so, that is all for today. Goodbye.